Yorkshire and Silky Terrier, can you recognize them apart? Two breeds that have remarkable similarities in their appearance. Because of that they are oftentimes confused with each other. In this video we will talk about differences between Yorkshire Terrier and Silky Terrier. Hi, it's Ryan from Rockadog. First, let's talk about why they actually look so similar. They are both small dogs with beautiful lush coat. They have similar face expression and body type. The reason behind this is that Silky Terrier is offspring of Yorkshire and Australian Terrier. But Yorkshire Terrier was bred in England, while Silky Terrier is a dog from Australia. The first difference is in their size. Silky Terrier is the larger from these two breeds. Their average height is between 23 to 26 centimeters, while Yorkshire Terrier height is around 17 centimeters. Of course, females are a little bit smaller. There is a difference in weight also. The Yorkshire Terrier weight is around 3 kilograms, while Silky Terrier weight is around 5 kilograms. Both breeds are small dogs with long body and straight coat that is pretty long so it should be trimmed regularly. Color of Silky Terrier coat is blue and tan, just like with Yorkie, but the Yorkie blue is the color of dark steel, not silvery. The deep tan of the Silky appears on the face, ear base, feet and legs. The tan areas of the Yorkie are similar, but the color is not. Yorkie tan hairs are darker and, and the root becoming progressively lighter up the hair shaft and light tan at the hair tip. Logically, if your dog has long coat, they need some grooming. Both breeds require fragment brushing and buffing. Yorkshire Terrier needs probably more trimming due to longer coat, but Silky Terrier coat is more likely to get into tangles. Both dogs also have erect V-shaped ears. Silky Terrier ears are set high on their head, while Yorkshire Terrier ears are turned slightly outwards. There are also differences in their personality. Yorkies are smart and fearless dogs. If they would be larger, they would be great guard because if they stop, start barking at something, it's very hard to stop them. Silkies are smart as well, but they are more one person kind of dog and they are also more energetic, so they need a little bit more exercises. Both breeds are great for apartment living. I would say that Silky Terrier is a little bit better for families with smaller kids because they bond with them easily. Both breeds are also trainable. They are terriers so they are not typical toy breeds. With proper training you can achieve a lot with them and teach them a lot and even some more complicated tricks. If you get Silky or Yorkshire Terrier, really, don't forget that they are not typical small dogs. They love all the typical doggy things like exercising, longer walks, they love interactive dog toys. They are great with that. Try to socialize them as early as possible so they can play with other dogs, even some bigger dogs in the park. They are terriers after all, don't forget that. Tell me in comments which one do you prefer, Yorkshire or Silky Terrier. If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Instagram and Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.